Pioneers. So today in small groups, I have a fun activity. This, you have the, you can find this in your take home pockets or on the online resources tab on your tadpoles report. So this is another roll the dice and color them. But this time we're gonna roll the dice and we're gonna add one. And instead of coloring them, I have little bears I'm gonna place. And I'm gonna play a game and I wanna see how many I can get covered, okay? So let's see. Six, and then it says add one. So six plus one, this was one, that's seven. So I would find seven and I would put a bear on it. And I would roll again. Oh, six plus one again is seven. And I would find my other seven and put a bear on it. All right, two. Two plus one is three. <gasps> Ta da! This is so much fun. Four plus one is five. So I find five and put a bear on it. Another five. I'm gonna win. <laughs> All right. Three plus one is four. Four plus one is five. And I do have another five. Four plus one is five. I, do, I, do, I don't have any more fives on my board. All right, one plus one is two. Three plus one is four. So you can take yours and you can put your little, if you have little toys or little bears or mini erasers, you can cover them or you can color them in. It's totally up to you. So three plus one is four, and I don't have any more fours left. Five plus one is six. All right, and you guys are gonna continue to play until your whole board is full. I hope you guys have so much fun with this activity. Can't wait to see you guys play. Maybe we can play in Zoom um, after bingo if we have time. If not, that's okay. I'll talk to you guys later. See you later, bye. Hi again, Pioneers. So we're back for another small group lesson. And I want you guys to break out your all about turtles can have our tarts, okay? So I have a nice little cute little turtle that I borrowed from Miss Rebecca and Miss Kayla from pre-K too. He's so cute. This is a snapping turtle. So if we saw one of these in real life, we wouldn't want to touch them, right? Because they can pinch our fingers. They have a nice sharp beak right here, okay? But he's so cute. So we're gonna learn all about turtles. Ready? So what can turtles do? Hmm. Turtles can, they can swim. Turtles, if they can lay eggs, and they have a nice hard shell that they can hide in from predators. They can hide in their shell. <clears throat> turtles have, what do turtles have? <gasps> Remember, they have that beak, that hard beak that might can get your fingers. <laughs> they also have a nice hard shell to protect them. And they have a cute little tail. Right there, tail. All right. So, turtles are, they are pretty slow. You know what? I mean, you would, you would definitely win a race against a turtle. They're slow. And they are reptiles. And also, turtles are herbivores. That means that they eat plants, right? So, we learned all about those earlier this year when we talked about different animals and what they eat. All right, so I hope you have fun making your can't have our charts. I can't wait to see them. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Hi again, Pioneers. So I'm back for our special snack activity. You guys ready? So we are going to make a cute little edible froggy like that. And what you need, you'll need some green grapes, some sun butter or peanut butter, apples, and a little crawly worm for the tongue. Okay, also we'll need, um, Chocolate morsels, so I'll be right back. I forgot those. Happy Floss! <laughs> Ta-da! Chocolate morsels. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna cut an apple. You will need your parents' help for this. I'm gonna use an apple core. Like that. Ta-da! Alrighty. 
right, so we're gonna take an apple slice. Looks like this, and we're gonna put sun butter right there in the middle. And you can use peanut butter if, you're, if you don't have any allergies at your house. But some of us have allergies. We're gonna go ahead and add a little tongue. <laughs> so cute already. All right. <laughs> Is it staying? All right. Now, I'm gonna add some eyes. Frogs have big bug-like eyes. Our chocolate morsels for the eyes. You guys are gonna tell me if it looks like Mr. Froggy or not. Alrighty, what do you guys think? Oh, Miss Kayla turned the picture off. But do you think it looks like a little froggy? I hope you guys have fun making him at home. <laughs> he's so cute. Maybe we needed more sun butter. I don't know. But he's still pretty cute. I hope you guys had fun doing it. Hope you have a great weekend. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Thank you again for everything. Bye. <laughs>
I'm going to turn around on this side so we can do the other side. Okay, so now let's let's put the other hand in the air. So last time I had right hand and this time I'm having left hand and right, right leg up to look like a beaver. Good job, friends. All right, from beaver pose, we are going to uh, do a uh, or fish pose. Are you ready to do or fish pose? All right, let's do right, or fish pose. So for our fish pose, we're going to lay on our tummies, okay? And then we're going to put our hand by our body and lift up your leg and your head. So you look like a fish. You can make some fish bubbles or you can sway like fish. That's our fish pose. All right, friends, we just did our fish pose. And the last pose we're gonna do is turtle pose. We're gonna pretend to be turtles and turtles live in the water in the pond too. All right, so you need to get on your knee. up our knees a little bit and put our hands, stretch our hands as far as you can and put your forehead on your mat or on the carpet. So we are turtles now. Let's count to three. One, two, Three. All right, friends. Thank you for doing yoga with me. Have a great weekend. Bye.